The big story today, TCU quarterback Trevon Boykin arrested for hitting a San Antonio police officer outside a bar early this morning. The star player has since been released on bond. Just a couple of hours ago, TCU held a press conference regarding that arrest. Larry Ramirez joins us live at the newsroom with reaction from one of his own teammates. Larry? Yeah, thank you guys. Boykin is a dual threat quarterback and a huge reason why TCU is number 11 in the land after being ranked as high as number two. Losing him is a huge blow. And that's because the two QBs behind him, not as experienced. Now, TCU met with the media around 345 this afternoon. And as much as they just wanted to talk about the Valero Alamo Bowl matchup, they couldn't avoid questions about Boykin's arrest and suspension from the team. TCU's leading rusher, Aaron Green, who played high school ball for the Madison Mavericks, was asked about his reaction when he heard of the news. One of our leaders um, has been a good player for us since he's arrived on campus. And not just a good player, but a good person, um, a good brother. So whenever you see something like that, it's, it's extremely heartbreaking. But, um, I mean, we, we've played without him before, and uh, we came here for one reason, and that's to win. The Dallas native was a preseason candidate for the Heisman Trophy, and now his college football career has come to an unceremonious end. We'll have more on this story later in sports, including who will start a quarterback for TCU. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Larry. And now, as we said earlier, Boykin has been released on bond. Pilar Arias explains what happened leading up to the arrest and what Chief William McManus is saying about that incident. TCU quarterback Trayvon Boykin remaining silent as he left the magistrate's office this morning following his arrest, which includes a charge that he assaulted a police officer. Police Chief uh, William McManus says it all started at a bar on the Riverwalk. There was some jawjacking going on in the bar between uh, Mr. Boykin and, and some other patrons about the game. McManus says the heckling turned into a fight that spilled outside as employees tried to kick out Boykin. And that's when bike officers who were on patrol in the area got involved. His teammates had tried to take him back to the hotel, and he broke away from him and came back. And then he got into it with the officer. Police say Boykin and the officer both fell to the ground, and Boykin continued to fight until an officer threatened to use a taser on him. We don't know whether he was swinging at the officer or whether he was swinging at somebody behind the I don't. I don't know. But in any event, the officer was struck in the face. Boykin was arrested and taken to the magistrate's office. He was charged with assault on a police officer, resisting arrest, and public intoxication. Pilar Arias, KSAT 12 News.